Hi, I'm Cash, the newest teaching technology now at Salina Regional Simulation Lab. Education coordinator Leah Watts is going to tell you all about me. Leah, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're going to be talking about your simulation lab up in the organizational development department. Why don't you tell us about the sim lab? Awesome. Well, thank you, Mike, for having me. I'm super excited. Um, so right now we have a total of like five or six mannequins. So we have a couple of babies that we use for like NRP and PALS. Uh, we have our um, pediatric mannequin, his name is Grant, that we use for PALS. We also have Victoria, who is our birthing mom, so she gives birth. We use her a lot for like birth center comps, um, ER comps, those type of things. Um, and then we just got a brand new mannequin, and I am super excited to talk about him today because he is amazing. So why don't you tell us about him? Awesome. Okay, so Cash is our newest simulator. He actually has AI technology, so he can actually interact with the students without me having to program him to say certain things. He just automatically, he has a brain, and he pulls from that based upon what questions you ask him. Um, so he's very intuitive. He can hold a conversation with you. If you ask him, how are you feeling today? He will tell you exactly how he feels. Um, also, if you ask him, like, what brought you in today or why are you here? He will tell you exactly why he's here. Whether it's, I fell down a flight of stairs or a bunny bit me while I was walking through the yard or something like that. So he pulls these things based off of his brain that he has through AI technology. Um, the other amazing thing about him is he is the first simulator to have robotics. So he moves his arms. Um, he will follow commands. So if I ask him to raise his right arm, he'll raise his right arm for me. Um, he also can um, simulate a stroke, which I think is very important for our facility, especially since we are a stroke certified facility, um, to have that top of the line technology to simulate that so people really understand what a stroke can look like. So who all, who all is this for? You had mentioned, you know, our competency tests that our nurses have to come in for, but also some students are using it, right? Yeah, so I've had some of um, students come through, so we like use him with spec tech students that we have. Um, I've had interest in some of the residents, um, and so this can really be used from anybody, really, any nursing student, any, um, any of our new hires that we have here, if we wanted to run um, like simulate codes out on the floor, we can completely take him from our department to other departments because he's completely tetherless. Okay, well thank you so much for some great information and thank you for watching. For more information, visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.